everyone, it's Miss Lorraine. Um, today I'm going to read to, for you a very special book. Um, it's actually one of my favorite books. Um, it's just all about Thanksgiving. It's called One is a Feast for Mouse. After Thanksgiving dinner, Mouse crept out of his hidey hole and looked around. You see him up there? The house was quiet. Dad snoozed in his chair with his book. Mom dozed in front of the TV. Outside, the kids played football in the crisp yellow leaves. Cat curled up by the fire. He yawned and stretched his stripy tail. Then he closed his greeny eyes and went to sleep. Mouse scampered up the tablecloth. Thanksgiving leftovers were still on the table. So much to eat. Mouse saw a teensy tiny toothsome green pea all by itself under a plate. Give thanks, he thought. One will be a feast for me. Mouse rolled the pea across the tablecloth to take it back to his hidey hole. But his eyes were bigger than his stomach. He saw six leftover cranberries glowing like rubies on a silver saucer. I'll just take one, he said to himself. One is a feast for me. He balanced the cranberry on top of the pea and started once again across the table to his hidey hole. Just then, he saw three olives, black and shining in a dish. I'll take just one, he thought. One is a feast for me. He put the olive on top of the cranberry on top of the pea and carried the tidbits across the table. Then he saw the carrot sticks, crunchy and munchy and orange. I'll just, just take one, he thought. One is a feast for me. He stuck the carrot into the hole in the olive, balanced both on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea, and started back to his hidey hole. Then he saw the mashed potatoes. Yum, mouse potatoes. There was just one scoop left on the plate. I'll just take the plate, Mouse thought. What a feast I will have. He bounced a plate of potatoes on top of the carrot stick in the hole in the olive, on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea. And Mouse started off across the table. Then he saw the gravy, brown and luscious in the silver gravy boat. Gravy for the mouse potatoes, he thought. I must have that for my feast. And he balanced the gravy boat on top of the mashed potatoes, on top of the carrot stick, stuck in the olive, on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea, and he started off. That's a lot of food he's got, right? But then he spotted the pumpkin pie. One slice of brown pie dimpled with a collar of fluffy cream. Mmm! So he balanced a pie on top of the gravy boat, on top of the mashed potatoes, on top of the carrot stick stuck in the hole in the olive, on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea, and he started off across the table. The pie slid, but Mouse caught it just in time. Mouse bobbed and bobbled across the tablecloth on his way to his hidey hole for his Thanksgiving feast. But what he didn't see, what didn't he see? was Cat creeping, creeping, closer and closer. Uh-oh. But Mouse saw Turkey, brown and juicy, surrounded by parsley. Much was gone, but there was just enough left for Mouse, for a Mouse feast, or even two. I'll just add that, thought Mouse, and he carefully placed the turkey platter at the very top of his pile, on top of the pie, on top of the gravy, on top of the mashed potatoes, on top of the carrot stick stuck in the hole in the olive, on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea. Look at all that food. Uh-oh. He started off across the table to his hidey hole, and there at the table's edge, he met a cat, greedy-eyed and hungry, clawing up the tablecloth. His cat. Mouse 
skidded to a stop. The turkey wibbled and wobbled, slid and slipped. Mouse danced to keep his feast balanced, pirouetted like a ballerina, juggled like a platter spinner. But off slid the turkey, whoosh, with a plop, landing smack on the cat. Uh-oh, there goes the cat. Down crashed the pumpkin pie and the boat with the gravy. Down crashed the mashed potatoes with the clatter that woke mom. Down fell the carrot stick still impaled in the olive. Down went the cranberry which rolled leaving a red track across the tablecloth. Down went the pea all catterwampus off the table rolling onto the floor. And off scampered mouse as quick as a bandit back to his hidey hole ahead of the cat. He huddled in his hidey hole, his heart pitter patter. He peered out. Down came the broom on the stripy green cat. Bad kitty, shouted mom, outside. And she swept the cat out the door. Mouse looked around, whiskers trembling with fright. No Thanksgiving feast for me, he thought. Just then, he spotted glowing in the corner. One teensy tiny round and toothsome, green and luscious pea. Give thanks, said Mouse. One is a feast for me. I hope you enjoyed that story. As I said earlier, it is one of my favorite books. I used to read it to my daughter all the time when she was little, and I usually do it once a year at story time when we're together. So I hope you enjoyed listening to it. I hope you guys have a very happy Thanksgiving. Um, I will have a Thanksgiving craft posted below. I hope you have fun making it, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.